Hello everyone, welcome once again to Investing with a Difference. So today we are going to talk about one of the important aspects of uh, keeping your account safe. It's also a very important video for people who are not yet uh, who have not yet changed their keys, like the Genesis account keys, and who are not sure how to keep uh, uh, their account safe, how to claim tokens, how to start using Scatter. So the first step to uh, securing your account, if you are still a Genesis account holder with the same keys, is to change your keys. So what we are going to talk about today is uh, how to safely generate keys and uh, uh, change them so that you can uh, keep your keys always away from the network and make sure that you're not uh, losing them. So now let's go back to EOS Voter uh, tool, which is uh, from Graymas. Uh, which is a great block producer. They have been producing this uh, this wallet uh, for a very long time. The latest version is 0.7.1. So this link, uh, you can go and we will post it in the description. Uh, make sure it is secure link. Make sure the certificate is valid. Make sure there is no cookies being used other than the GitHub cookies. Uh, the cookies usually can really be something additional running on your computer, on your browser, tracking your uh, browser itself. Uh, but ir irrespective of this, we will tell you the safe way. We will disconnect the computer from the Wi-Fi and then generate the keys. So first of all, you need to download this uh, EOS Voter. And what you do is, if you're on a MacBook, you download DMG. If you're on Windows, you download EXE file. So you install this and we will go to the tool. It will. This is how it will look. So this will be your first screen if you don't see this server you can just select uh, eos or uh, the right chain it will automatically populate this server if you still don't see it you can manually enter it eos.gremas.com connect to the server skip import now when you skip import you go to the tools And you go to key generator. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm waiting for the key generator to load. So in the key generator, this is basically generating new key pairs. So whatever you are using right now, the Genesis account, uh, maybe you're not using it yet. Maybe you're trying to keep it safe. What is the best thing to do is uh, you don't know whether that was kept safe. So you create a new key pair. You say generate key. Now this is your public key which starts with EOS. And there is a private key which starts from 5 and so on. You can copy it in your clipboard. And you can save it. So I'm going to use my notepad. By the way, this is the account I'm going to experiment with. Uh, this is a test account I had created. It's called Smart Investor. The private key is posted here so I'm sure you already have a private key pair for your Genesis account so I'm opening it up because I know that I will be changing this later so I don't care about uh, exposing my private key to you I would recommend you generate quite a few key pairs like right now uh, while you are you have not entered anything about your Genesis account you create these key pairs you can copy all of them and just save them now what happens here is you are just saving them wherever you want to keep them. So this is a notepad I'm using. I don't recommend using notepads. If you're not sure, you can make sure that either you are offline when you're doing this and uh, you can do that actually. So I can actually go and turn off my Wi-Fi and I can still generate keys and uh, it will keep giving me more and more keys uh, and I can copy them while I am offline. So this is recommended uh, to go offline. I will connect back my Wi-Fi. Uh, and while you're offline, either you can print these keys into a notepad or you can print it on a paper. So I do not uh, want to suggest you how you keep your keys because that's your personal decision. Uh, but make sure that this, this is the private key which starts with five and there's a public key which starts with EOS. Now the private key is something which should never ever see uh, any other tool, any other computer. And now you have generated your key pair. You go to manage wallets. <clears throat> you can generate, the reason I'm asking you to generate so many keys, you can call them key one, 
key two. This can be used in future by you whenever you want. They need not be associated with your account. These are just key pairs where there is no account created for them. Now you go to manage wallets. Okay, I don't think this option is there. So let me go back and exit. I say reset application. <clears throat> I'm trying to add a wallet now. So basically there is no credential stored. So you can always delete uh, the any wallet credentials and restart the whole process. So remember your wallet does not store your tokens. Your tokens are stored on the blockchain. So this uh, wallet is just an interface which takes your keys, authenticate your permissions and allows you to make transactions. So do not worry as long as your keys are secured. So th this is something which has to be secured, not your wallet. So this is where now you do not want to, now whatever you created here, key one, key two, key three, key four, these are key pairs you want to keep secure. They should not be seen by anyone. Now, this was the original, let's assume this was the Genesis account, which you are trying to change. And this is your private key. Now, make sure you copy this private key, go back to Gremas, you select your EOS, now it's asking enter the public key or account name. So my account name is smart investor. I look up this account and it says now enter the private key. So now basically uh, to do any operations, you need to first set up your wallet and that needs a private key. So now you're going to enter your private key. Now you're comparing the keys and it says, okay, this is working now. So this key was uh, the correct key for that account. And now you need to create a password. So let's say I create a password and I re-enter the password. <clears throat> now my wallet is set. Now, because you used your Genesis account key right now, of course you need to accept the constitution. So you accept the terms. And now you start seeing, you can start voting, you see your wallet, you can uh, see your balance, you can see you, how much is staked, you can see the history and so on. And this is actually active permissions. I thought it was the same for my owner, but it d defaults to active. So let's go now to tools and we go to permissions. So in tools and permissions, this is where you change your keys. So as you can see, I have the same uh, active and owner key. And this is what was the case uh, for all the, uh, all the accounts. And it looks like this is a, there are, it is a multi-sig. I created this account in Lynx wallet. So I'm not sure I will be able to change it, but let me just show you the process. So if I say modify, you can actually go only use the public key. So this is your public key. You are actually changing the owner key. So be very careful because once you change the owner key, that means your account will not be able to, uh, nobody can access your account with the key which you had in Genesis account. Now this can still be valid for your Telos. You, this can still be valid for your Verbly because they are using, uh, no, Verbly is not using Genesis, but let's say Telos. If they are using Genesis account snapshot. So if you want to claim, you need to keep this key secure because that is your Genesis account key. But uh, once you change it here in the owner permission, uh, then you will not be able to do it. So same thing you can do for active key. So you can, and I recommend you to use different active key and different owner key. So there's a key one, key two, key three. You can pick any of these keys and you can generate any number of keys. It's based on the previous processor and um, use only the public key. Now, again, when you are doing it before you go and copy from here, when you are connected to this wallet, I would recommend you do not have this. You should be deleted from here. These keys should not be seen by anybody, including you, because you have already stored them. Make sure you, you store your public key along with the private key wherever you store them because you need to know which private key belongs to which public key because you do not want to be confused. So that is again your responsibility and it is just like any other blockchain where you need to maintain your keys. But now you can choose any public key to change the permissions. So in this way, your new keys, the new active and owner key 
are never going to see the private key so like your private keys are never getting entered anywhere online and you are only using your public keys to change now public keys are available to anybody to see so i would say just let's say we change it here we can make any change we copy it from here and we just say update permissions and once you do that it will uh, i'm not going to do that but it will just go through and your active and honor keys can be changed after you do that because now you originally entered this wallet using your genesis account key now uh, you have to go to the wallet you have to go to the tools and you have to reset application and now you can log in with your active keys you never even enter your owner keys the private keys so what happens is because you are destroying this credential and now you are you had two different keys let's say key 3 was taken as active key and key 4 was set up as owner key now this owner key is uh, never needed because for voting for sending trans tokens to anybody for using scatter all you need is your active keys now active key there will be a uh, whatever pr pr private key you had saved you will have to enter again just like we did earlier we select a chain we look up <coughs> account of and we say smart investor and we can because i did not really change the key i just showed you you have to assume this is my new active key you have to enter your private key but this time you are entering active key only and you are not risking your owner keys and you are ready to set up your wallet again with a new password so what happens is when you set up this password you every time you log into this wallet you do not have to enter your private keys now your keys are stored in encrypted fashion on your computer and uh, you are not, not going to go and open your vault where you have kept your keys so even the active keys are safe uh, but in case you lose your active keys what you need to do is you go to your vault you open your owner keys you set up a new wallet and you change just like you did for genesis account you change both your keys so even though your owner keys were not lost you can always change both keys whenever you use them because once you expose them you are not sure who got that access to that key so this is like you are really paranoid about keeping your keys safe uh, this otherwise if you believe that your owner keys are not compromised only active keys is compromised uh, you can always just modify active key but if you want to take extra precautions when whenever you take out this owner key from the vault uh again i am not showing you the private key here but let's say there was a private key here so you are going to use this to really log in because owner key permissions are needed to change any keys so if you are doing that you will just go and change your compromised keys and you will be back in control of your wallet so this is the instructions i went slow i wanted to repeat again and again because i wanted to make sure all of you understand how to do it uh but the best pr practices are change your genesis account uh, make sure your owner and active keys are separate make sure you don't log into wallets um on your pc using owner keys the owner key should be changed and that should be stored in a cold storage with never ever accessing your owner keys um and that means that you're never entering your private owner keys online on any wallet and you can do all your transactions using active keys so your account should look like at active and you can do vote you can set proxy you can just go to set voter proxy you can say investing with a difference if you are proxying with us and you confirm and you can vote <clears throat> now of course uh, there's a message because uh, i don't have enough uh, eos staked so this transaction did not go through but it will go through if you have enough eos staked um, and then you can use your wallet with the active keys and you can transfer tokens uh, so as you can see here i have zero staked that's the reason i could not make the transaction so let me do that actually just to show you um i can actually stake uh, the tokens and i can say stake 0.10 eos and it, you can do all these transactions you can stake you can unstake and uh, let me try voting again if uh, 0.10 is enough
and this time the transaction went through so all this is possible with active key my owner keys will never see any wallet and uh, that is what i want to highlight uh, that this is a very safe process uh, the only thing you need to worry about is when you're going and changing the permissions be very careful uh, when you open this modify for the owner you need to make sure you have copied your public key properly uh, what my usual recommendation is because you are doing copy paste from here which is your owner key um, let's say you're copying and you're pasting here always double check your last character in the first character because when you're copying the first and last character if you are, they are there mostly you cannot make mistakes because the whole key has been copied and then you update the permission if you're updating the permission without uh, uh, with the little bit of precaution i'm sure you can do it safely and uh, then you can change the active keys as well so the ideal thing will be to do first active keys and then owner key because if you change active key uh, later you your wallet will not have permissions because as soon as you change the owner key this wallet becomes useless because this wallet was originally uh, set up with your genesis account which was the owner key account so i hope this video was useful uh, do share your comments uh, and let us know if you were successful main reason for doing this would be to claim your telos or any other tokens uh, to be able to participate in Rex if you are worried about uh, your safety of your tokens if you have not touched your tokens so do please make this change start using it if you like this video please do share with others and uh, we have tried to make it as easy as possible for people to understand but uh, I'm sure because we have been in the EOS world for a very long time and we know exactly how to do these things so if you have questions do send us your feedback and uh, do press like if you like this and do subscribe to us if you like the content we produce. Thank you. Bye-bye.